compound with some nitrogen in it. This is called nitrogen triiodide. So here we have nitrogen combined with iodine. And again, the nitrogen doesn't really like to be combined with the iodine. There's very, very weak bonds between these two. The nitrogen really wants to bind to itself instead, forming the very, very strong nitrogen-nitrogen bonds. Now, this compound is so unstable that if you just touch it, it may well explode, reforming the nitrogen gas. So I'm just going to throw a photon at my nitrogen triiodide, which is in the corner over here. So um, I'm do I need to put my ear defenders on, and I'm afraid you'll have to put your fingers in your ears for this one. Now, I hope I can actually get a photon to land on this. Let's see. <laughs> there we are. So the reaction that was taking place there was this very reactive nitrogen triiodide that isn't very stable. Instead, it reforms nitrogen combining with itself, nitrogen gas, N2, and also the iodine. So the purple cloud that we see there is actually the iodine. And this is the sort of thing that you might put on a cut if you have a cut on your finger. Now this reaction, well, one similar to it, is responsible for saving thousands of lives. And Chris here is going to demonstrate this. <laughs> <laughs> 